mancato il vetro. Italy is slowly resuming la dolce vita. The country implemented Europe's first lockdown after being severely hit by the virus. But after a two month decline in new cases, it's serving cappuccinos again with a new look. Eh, fa strano, fa strano perché ci si trova co, col plexiglass. Everybody have to, to use masks during work. There are some hand sanitizer around the restaurant so people can sanitize their hands. In addition to social distancing requirements, the government is also asking reopening restaurants to prioritize reservations, for menus and outdoor dining. Rome and other major cities are allowing establishments to extend their outdoor spaces for free. They are also closing some streets to provide free space for restaurant tables. Amid criticism that small businesses are not getting enough financial help, Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte agreed to open bars and restaurants weeks earlier than initially planned. Stiamo affrontando questo rischio e dobbiamo accettarlo, altrimenti non potremo mai ripartire. Still, many businesses that rely on tourists remain closed, and those that have reopened may find it hard to survive with fewer customers. For this year, there will be no tourists in, in Rome. Although Italians are eager to get back to normal life, they are also confused by the many new rules. The government published a 120-page document on reopening practices the day before it lifted restrictions. We had information about the newspapers, but the real rules to open we received just the last day before open. Adding to the confusion is the fact that the government's own scientific council recently warned that lifting restrictions too early could bring a new wave of cases. Still, Italians are hopeful the worst is behind them. Ripartire dopo tutto questo tempo che siamo stati fermi è come un primo giorno di scuola. Quindi comunque con molto entusiasmo, sperando di ripartire al meglio. For Newsy, I'm Ben Chamiso.